What's up everybody, it's Ace of Axe. We're gonna do part four today. And it's gonna, we're gonna try to get the uh, axles built with the uh, shocks and the links on it and as well as uh, building the shocks too. I got a package today from Axle and uh, we're ready to rock now. So it looks good, let me show you what I got. All right, so I talked with Axle after the last video about what all I, I would need and everything and tell you what, the customer service there is amazing. Those guys were absolutely happy to help and uh, knew their stuff as well. So I got the links, see if you can see that. There's a 106 and 98 millimeter links. We got three of the uh, 106s, one for the steering, and then uh, two for the back top links, sorry, back bottom links. And then the 98s are for the, uh, the front bottom links. And then we got the 60 mil millimeter uh, top links for front and back. Then the other ones are just the steering ones and uh, some of the ones for the uh, the three links set up on the top. Okay, so one thing about this build is I wanted it to take from an AX10 to an actual SEX10 like my honcho is because I'm really happy with the honcho that I have. So I wanted to make another one, but this one's going to be for 1.9. So um, I went through the uh, SEX10 instruction sheet and uh, the manual basically and got all the measurements from that so my honcho came with 106 millimeter uh, bottom links for the back so that's what I got and uh, the front ones were 98 so that's what I got for that just basically bumped exact part numbers so that I knew that when I'm done with this it's going to be set up exactly like my other one now that's where you can throw variances into it and you can do different different length uh, link or links before you know if you want a shorter or longer wheelbase but 106 in the back and uh, 98 in the front are the standard honcho so that's why I wanted to go with this one um, also I wanted a honcho bumper on the front I want the dingo bumper on the back so I've ordered the dingo bumper it should be coming in I've got the front honcho bumper and then uh, I've got the uh, side rails as well just like on the honcho like I said I'm trying to basically build a SCX 10 honcho out of this so uh, let me show you a little bit more of what else they sent me and then uh, we'll get started uh, when I was talking to Axial there, I was telling them, you know, all these parts that I needed, and this part, and that part, and everything. And uh, they're a lot smarter than me. They realized that most of the parts I was after were in this kit right here. It's a Scorpion uh, Ready to Run Hardware Upgrade Kit. So it has pretty much everything you need as far as the uh, ends for the uh, for the links, top and bottom. So that'll be all in one kit. And that's just them knowing their products there. It helped me out a lot. Then uh, these spacers, there's one I believe that goes on the links, and then you can use the other four for your uh, shocks to get them a little bit away from the uh, from the shock hoops if you need to then of course these screws as well we're going to use those on the on the links I believe and then the kit for the uh, shocks sorry it's a mess as usual there's the uh, shock bodies okay shock bodies there the springs are all bound together right now to, to pull apart easy enough. Then all the shock caps, even the uh, even the piggyback here, which I actually kind of like on my other one, so I'll probably stick with that. And then there's the rails that we're talking about, so that'll be those. And they also, I told them that I had ordered a honcho bumper, so they went ahead and got me the metal plates for these as well. So good deal. And uh, yeah, the more screws, and then the uh, rest of the bits for the uh, shocks now also okay so here's I ordered this I got the uh, the honcho bumper there front bumper and then I'll throw those in there get that going 